Call it the passion fruit martini, call it the maverick martini, or if you're still living life vicariously through the early aughts, call it the porn star martini. But whatever you wanna call it, definitely call it delicious, because this, my friends, is a sparkling wine cocktail that is perfect for any celebratory occasion. Hello wine lovers, I'm Erin, the founder and chief sommelier here at the Wine Sisters. Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is the place where every week we teach you how to eat, drink, and entertain like a pro. Well, this sparkling wine cocktail that I'm about to show you today, it is delicious and it did get its start as the porn star martini. Now, of course, if you were a sassy young thing in your 20s and the 90s, Mm -hmm. you would have flocked to the bar to order this with reckless abandon. Of course, as years went on and other people caught on to how delicious it is, ah, that menu moniker didn't always fly with the clientele, so it has many other incarnations. Now, if you were going to make a single porn star martini, this is what would be recommended to you. Into a shaker filled with ice, you'd put in an ounce and a half of vanilla flavored vodka, half an ounce of passion fruit liqueur, an ounce of passion fruit nectar, a half ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice, and a half ounce of vanilla scented simple syrup. Into that shaker filled with ice, you'd give it a nice shake until it's good and cold, and you would strain it into a nicely chilled coupe. But that's not where the allure ends, my friends. Oh no. So look at this golden hue of the passion fruit. And what you would do is you would serve this quite happily with a little side of two ounces of your finest Prosecco. And this, in the early aughts, would have been the thing that cocktails and dreams most certainly are made of. I have a few exceptions for this though. However, as delicious as it is on its own, the vanilla is a little bit of a bridge too far for me. We've already got the passion fruit nectar. We've already got the passion fruit liqueur. We've already got the simple syrup. All of those are quite sweet. So to layer on all that extra vanilla, it just becomes a little bit too heady for me. Now, if you're somebody who's super into indulgence, more power to you, stick with the original recipe. But today I'm going to show you a really festive one that sort of scales back on that sweetness a little bit and is perfect for a party crowd because I am going to make it by the pitcher. So let me just put this delicious little number off to the side and show you how we're going to make it easy, festive and fun for not just your guests, but also the host. What I'm going to do into my pitcher is I'm basically going to make five cups worth of a riff on a porn star martini. So into my pitcher, I'm going to pour one and a half cups of plain vodka. Good quality, but plain, unflavored. So I've got one and a half cups of vodka going into that. I have three quarters of a cup of passion fruit liqueur. I'm going to add in one and a half cups as well of my passion fruit nectar. Now, to give it a little bit more sass, I'm going to put in three quarters of a cup of freshly squeezed lime juice. I want the acidity and that brightness, again, to lighten up that levity of the simple syrup and the, um, the passion fruit liqueur as well as the nectar. So I'm also going to add in a scant half cup of plain simple syrup, no vanilla in this. Again, I just want to really keep it fresh and bright, fruity and clean. For my palate, I don't need all the extra vodka. So where is my stir stick? Ta-da! It's a little bit of a weird decanter, so I'm going to have to use a different kind of stir stick. So now I've got the basis of my riff on a porn star martini. I'm now able to, as the party host, keep this in the fridge for, you know, a few hours until my guests arrive. And now I'm no longer stuck behind the bar, mixing and stirring and shaking while everyone else is having fun. Instead, I'm now able to take this nice chilled pitcher out of the fridge when my guests arrive and into a chilled coop. I'm going to be able to pour a little bit right on there, about three quarters of the way full. And then I'm going to top it with my sparkling wine or my Prosecco. And into that, it will go. This is delicious. It's fruity, but not too sweet. You get that nice acidic edge from the fresh lime juice as well as the brute sparkling wine, the brute Prosecco. So it has 
brightness, it has freshness. There's a crowd-pleasing fruitiness here. This is an absolutely delicious and festive cocktail. I can see this at New Year's Eve. I can see this around your pool parties. I can see this on the campsite, quite frankly. I can see this just about anywhere. What I also really like about this is not only are we making an advance in the pitcher, but we have done away so much stuff lying around. Oh, geez, Louise. But what I like about this is we have now done away with that two-fister. Now, back in the early aughts, like we were talking about, you would have had your fruity martini, which this isn't really a martini at all, but let's not split hairs over this. You would have had your fruity martini and you would have had your Prosecco on the side as a chaser. Uh, and as much as I'm going to applaud any lady who can two-fist her way through a party, this is weird and awkward. What happens if you wanna shake hands or more importantly, saddle up to the buffet? Your hands are already full and this isn't going to be conducive to any kind of party uh, treats. Well friends, as we move closer to New Year's Eve, I do hope you're gonna give this one a try. It's brilliant for all of your party entertaining. Not only do you have it made in advance, it is a one-handed cocktail so you can touch whomever and whatever you absolutely please. 2022 has been a blast. I want to thank you for watching all year long and if you found this video of worth please give us a like, maybe leave us a comment if you have any questions about how to entertain like a pro. I promise I will get back to you as soon as I see it. And until next year, my friends, stay well, drink better, happy new year.